The referee will be Matt Galvin. And he's touched judges Aidan Hayward and Alex Pacino. This will be a battle. Arendale up against Bass. Bass last week. An unbelievable second half. Referee Galvin waits. The hand will go in the air, then whistle to the mouth. And we are we'll be underway to see who takes on Endeavour in next week's semi-final. Crowd getting involved straight away early. They'll look up Hollands. Hollands will take it straight into the fray. Brophy sneaks, just slips in a dummy half, looks around. Now JJ Mapahiva. Last week, it was Arendale. They've beaten 30 14 to Patrician Brothers Black Town after trailing 22 0 at half time. And then Bass were too strong for Hunter Sports, 50 to 32. They trailed 20 to 10 at half time. And as I said, they went on a rampage in the second half, adding. 40 unanswered point. Well, they, they were answered, but 40 points. Now, JJ Marper, Heaver, his second run in this set, gets to halfway as he pokes his hole through the defence. Brophy, he'll look for Anderson. That's where they go. Anderson, he got a little bit of attention. That's a nice set to start the game. And now, lovely catch there. Lau takes it out and brings it back. Marper, Heaver with the tackle. And Carl coming across, both making the strong carry. Carl goes again and makes it. It's Johnson. Johnson takes a while to get to his feet. Now Tupou. Leafy. Kepi looks up and he got a quick play. The ball just dancing through to Afua. He tips it on. No, he just did it himself. To Afua. Now Kepi on the last tackle. They'll go back, look for Barricat. Barricat will put it across the face. Allowed to bounce. Sits up, sits up, being knocked backwards. Still back, says the referee. And eventually, an Arendale player dives on it. Roche, I believe it is. Yes, it was. Kruger Roche. Two good sets to start the match from two sides who are really revved up to Ali'i. The Australian schoolboy in this Arendale side. Now Romo, Romo. He'll take the tackle. Brophy. Hollands. Hollands tries to spin. He does. He gets over halfway. Brophy just having a look. They'll come for Cowling on the right. Cowling keeps the kick low. Hitchin Carnib traps it. He'll look up and he'll said the the red, white, and black of Arendale as they drill him to the ground and he'll play it only five away from their defensive try line. Johnson comes in. And no nonsense run out of dummy half, but they drive him back as well. Papalio Fua. As the rain continues to pour here at Kirkham. But it's now Bass trying to bring it out of their danger zone. There's a good tackle. Carl and Marpa Heaver. He's really lit up early for Arendale. It was a big tackle on Leafi. And now, straight down the throat of Cody. So he'll get his first touch. Troy Cody comes back and he's met by Barricat. Then got an eight. Roche. Roche. Green, out of dummy half, gets over halfway. He's opposite number, Tupo. Sticks and brings him to the ground. He'll get, well, he'll get up now. Brophy, Brophy. Strolls bounced off that left and just straightened it up. Cody will go into dummy half on four. Anderson. Anderson back inside. Marpa Heaver. Leafi makes the tackle. And underneath was Godinay. Anderson 
Perched on that right pocket. Puts it high in the air. Hitchin Carnib. It was a lovely kick and Hitchin Carnib. He must he just had a foot in the field of play when he caught that. Bass Bench thought it was in the in goal. But it was a lovely kick from Anderson. Now Bass through Lau. Some solid defence early. Both sides are really in the battle. Holland and Green involved in the tackle there. And there's another big shot. Brophy underneath. Tuafua puts a lovely kick through. Nice bounce. Cody attacks the football. He'll look up and all he'll see is the black jumpers at Bass. To Ili'i. Roche. Barricade over the top. Layafi. Underneath on that occasion. Now Green. Green. Both sides really just trying to win the middle. Cowling pops it up for Roche. Roche. Just comes straight to Tupo, no problems there. Tupo tries the one-on-one -on -one strip to no avail. And Brophy will look. He had a little look down this right edge. He'll go to Cowling. And Cowling, it's a wobbly kick through, but it hits the deck and just sits up kindly for Hitcham Carnib. Solomon Tupo taking a while to get back in beyond the defensive line. Johnson, what about that shot from Hollands? A real intensity out there in this opening seven minutes. Both sides real now. Layafi, he says, I've had enough of the middle, so he tries to go on the edge, and there's the mistake. Anderson picks up the crumbs after Johnson. Was it Johnson? No, it was the four. It was Papa Lil a four. Couldn't hang on to the pass. So now, Marpa Heaver. Brophy took it out of dummy half, went three, found Marpa Heaver. Lashcock, he gets met by Sever. Anderson, Anderson, cowling, cowling. Oh, well read there, Tupo. Tupo didn't fall for the dummy. As cowling linked around the back with Anderson. Anderson at first receiver now. He'll look up, finds Cody, Cody. Ran out of numbers, he'll just take the tackle. On four. Brophy looks for Anderson. Ball in hand, just dribbles the ball through. Hits him, Carnib coming across. Went dead. Bass were willing the ball to go dead, and that's exactly what it did. So Kepi with the restart. Good crowd in attendance, even though with the, the weather the way it is. You can hear the contact. Sever. He'll go into dummy half. Layafi. Met by Carl and Brophy. Turns it back underneath. Got an ace spinning out of the tackle. Kepi, very flat. Barricat, Barricat throws the dummy. Cowling says, you're not going anywhere and hangs on. Slate goes into dummy half. They're going to come down for Kepi on the short side. He'll put the little kick through. It's a nice kick going across. Cody had no option. But to smack it dead in goal. Straight away. Onto the field, Jack Milne in Jersey 15. It'll be a dropout. Erendale dropout, they don't 
They just kick it deep. Cody does. It sits up nicely. Hits him. Can't hear. He'll look. He'll find Layafi. Layafi tries to go at Anderson. Anderson, he pops the pass off, though. Layafi, the crowd, as I said, really making a lot of noise. It goes Godinay. Godinay, he slips over. And a first penalty of the match. Markers weren't square. That's the call from the referee. Referee Galvin. And just get on with the F pot straight away. And that's exactly what they've done. Turns it back underneath. Goddard. Mapahiva having a spell early too. He's been good. Kepi. Bass's first opportunity. Layafi, as we saw last week. Hard to stop from here. Aaron Dale do a job this time. Grabbed a couple of tries last week. He tries to play the booty. Played it, tried to play it too quick. And referee Galvin says knock on. So everyone can take a deep breath. Been end to end stuff in this opening 11 minutes. Still nil nil. Romo bounces out of the tackle, still going is Romo. Goddard got out of the scrum quick and made a tackle that was needed to be made. Now Brophy, Brophy comes to his opposite number in Kepi and Kepi hangs on. Layafi came and pushed him back a little bit further. Anderson into dummy half. Holland. Dempsey Wolf on the field as well. He took a Marpa Heaver. There's Wolf now. His second run in the set. And he's dropped it. Yeah, a little knock on. Ball security not the best on that occasion from Dempsey Wolf. So the scrum right on halfway, middle of the field. Been a cracking start to this semi final. Kepi. Tupo. Tupo gets driven backwards, still going backwards. Lau out of dummy half. He gets solidly hit as well. Cowling. Sever. Goddard. Goddard. There's some good post contact meters. Still going is Goddard. Eventually they get him on his back. But what a strong run. Kepi scheming. Goes to the right quickly. To a fuhr, to a field, got a runner inside. Last tackle, Barakat does put the deaf little kick through, coming across. Ball's gone. Yeah, a little knock on there, I think, from Cody. So it'll be a drop out. It was a lovely kick, though. Took the ball right to the line. Gargalus on the field too in jersey 16 for Bass. So the benches are busy. As I say, it's been an intense first 14 minutes. Goes down for Barakat and that man, as I said, Gargalus onto the field. The contact. They pick him up. Got him a little bit airborne. Oh, he had a little look there. Barricat turn it underneath. And Slate couldn't hang on to it. Green.
Carl. Byron Carl, very good for Arendale last week. Anderson, now Wolf. Wolf would just want to hang on to that footy, straightens it up, takes the tackle. Brophy, Milne. Plenty of numbers on this right, and that's where they go. Cowling, Cowling found Romo. Romo bounces out of the tackle. A one, two, still going. Romo comes to the fullback. Still going, Yuri Romo! He says, I want it. He got it. He scores. He brushed two, three, four. Bass players out of the road. We said they were heavy on this right edge. It took one pass, and Yuri Romo does the rest. We get our first points in this semi-final to the Arendelle's number 12. <laughs> Mitch Brophy will have the conversion attempt halfway through this first half in what's been an intense battle. The schoolboy rugby league. So Brophy looking to convert the Romo try. <laughs> Moves in, no problems. Flags in the air. So Erindale College six. Lead Bass High nil. 17 gone, first half. Hitcham Carnib with a restart. Down to Anderson. Anderson will look. He'll find Wolf. Wolf. He'll play it. Hollands. Billy Hollands. Been good early for Arendale. Now Milne. Milne cowling. Cowling finds a try scorer in Romo. Brophy down this short side again. Cowling. Cowling can see a break. Gets out of the tackle. And Tupo's still going. Finds Cody. Cody back for Milne. Milne, room to move. They come across. Make the tackle, but all of a sudden, the set after points. Brophy wants a quick play of the ball. He gets it. He goes left for Anderson. Anderson pops the pass. Now he hangs onto it. Play on it'll be. Puts the kick through. Little knock on. What do we got? In front of Anderson is the call. No. Obstruction play, but some exciting stuff off the kickoff from Arendelle. And the penalty kick for Bass. Again, this Arendale defence is Kepi. I need the, the smart head of Sean Kepi just to control things now for Bass. Oh, there's a contact. They are Strong tackle. Billy Hollands coming over the top. Romo underneath. Now Sever. Rabar onto the field in jersey 14. He'll slip straight into dummy half. They play the footy 
on halfway, Gargolis. There's the ball just spewing out as he hit the ground. Gargolis couldn't hang on to it. So a mistake from Bass. This is pretty intense footy. Vandermade onto the field as well. As I said, plenty of changes, both sides. Really running the interchange bench heavily. That's the intensity of this game. Billy Holland's just at the hands on the knees, but he looks like he's okay. Scrum feed now, 10 shy of halfway. Ferrande Cowling. Brophy of the long pass for Anderson. Just decides to take the tackle. Billy Hollands and Dempsey Wolf make their way off the field. Marpa Heaver and Lascott back on. As Arendale sneak over halfway. Brophy to the open they come. Milne turns Marpa Heaver back into the fray. Makes some good metres as the Bass defence comes. Underneath, Sever. Brophy got Milne. Milne trying to sneak through the hole. Rabar makes the tackle. Brophy to the left. Anderson. Marpa Heaver short. Tries to ride through the tackle of Godinay. Last tackle of goes. They go for Anderson on that left. He'll put the little kick through. Cody coming through. Hitchum can't even knock on. And onto the ball. Jonah Anderson. He put the kick through. Hitchum can't even coming across. Couldn't control it. And Anderson, after his own kick, dives on it. And Endeavour lead, I mean, Arendale, sorry, lead. Ten points to nil. It'll be Endeavour awaiting the winner of this game, of course. Well, they're saying Mitch Marin. I, I, I thought it was um, interesting to see they're saying Mitch Marin may, he's the man that jumped on it. Anderson, their bottom line, put the kick through. So Mitch Marin's been awarded the try. Number five is the, the call from downstairs. And time off call. There's an Arendale player down. It's a try scorer. Mitch Marin. But it's been a willing contest now. Brophy will look to add the extras. Yeah, the crowd's up and about. It was Mitch Marin. He's gone back the Arendale crowd. So Brophy moves in, looking to add the two points. Flags in the air. <laughs> yeah, try confirmed. Mitch Marin it was for Arendale. And conversion successful from Brophy from the sideline. So 12 points to nil. After a mistake at the back, but Hitchum Carnib. This will be a big defensive set for Bass. You can just feel it. Layafi, he was <laughs> centraling in, but bringing it back. Billy Hollands, he's had a spell. Marpa Eva, he goes straight. Vandermade, and Vandermade sticks. Milne throws the dummy. Nearly kept the ball alive. 
Brophy. Anderson. Green. Brophy goes down the short side. Finds Carl. They pick Carl up and throw him on his back. Anderson to the open. Puts plenty on, on the steed and goes back waiting for it. Lau. Lau will bring it back. He goes straight at Romo. Romo up to the task. Along with underneath Roche. And over the top, Green. Five minutes till the halftime break. Rabar, that dummy half trying to float across and make some yards. Hitch and can't hit, but they can't can't get past Green who hangs on. Sever, can he get through? The tackle does well. Finds Rabar. Rabar, room to room. He's got Kepi inside. Nobody else. Puts the kick across for himself. Coming across Marin. Marin will get past Kepi and get the ball back in the field of play. Great work there, Rabar. Mate, wanting to make something happen, but Mitch Marin coming from that left wing cleans it up nicely. Now, Roche. Bass, they will be up and about in this defensive set. To Ali'i. Brophy, long pass, Anderson. They're more than happy to get the quick shift happening. Anderson finds Milne. On the last tackle now, Brophy might have a look himself. But he does indeed. He looks, he puts it on that left boot. There's plenty of space there. It's a nice kick. It's just going to roll, roll. Hitchin can't able to pick it up. Five inside, away from his defensive try line. He floats across, beats one. He can't get away from Cody, who chased the kick. Now Johnson. Bodies everywhere at the moment. A lot of slipping over Rabar after that wonderful run and then kick. Talk about blokes slipping over. Wet conditions now. Been raining all day. Leafi, he's been good. Tries to go straight through the brick wall. Knocks some bricks out of the way. Now Marpa Heaver come and made the tackle with Roach. Rabar being dangerous. Sever, Sever. Oh, he tried to pop the pass back. Kepi couldn't hang on. And with three to the half-time break, Endeavour, Arendale will have an opportunity. The plate right on halfway. Got stuck in the mud there. Cody. To Elite. E, to Elite. He gets away from one. Still trying to go. Does get away. Eventually wrapped up by Godinay and slammed to the ground. Tua Lee gets up, pushing and shoving. Now Marpa Heaver goes at Kepi, gets past him. Rabar hangs on. Crowd really getting involved. There's numbers on the left. There's a bit of push and shove going on as well. And Johnson. Referee. Yeah, he's more than happy for There's a little bit of push and shove going on on one side of the field. Now Hitchin can't ebb. Rabar, Leafi, trying to lift his bass side. The Australian schoolboy trying to make something happen. They try the short kick. Tupou, all he's got to do is get, no, it's Papa Lee, a four-a, Papa Lee, a four-a, back inside, Tupou, Tupou. I tell you what, what about the eyes up footy there from Matt Barakat? <laughs> Matt Barakat. Just saw numbers. He saw the condensed defence of Arendale. He popped the kick up for Wesley Papa Lilla Fora. He makes a break down this left edge and just pops the pass back inside. And Tupac scores. Referee's called time off here. He's going to have a chat, I think. Yeah, 
He's just calling out Troy Cody here. Here for a Galvin. It was the play that Bass needed just before this halftime break. And lovely, as I said, the eyes up footy from Matty Barricat. He could just see, so he put a beautiful kick in. And now Hassan Rabah will look to add the extras. Rabah looking to convert the Tupo try. Punches it to the left. So conversion unsuccessful. And Solomon Tupo. He grabs first points for Bass High. And with 38 seconds left of the halftime siren, it really has set this game up beautifully. The winner. Take on Endeavour Sports. After the first semi-final was organised earlier, it was Central Coast Sports College getting over the top of Holy Cross. And they'll take on Patrician Brothers Blacktown. Mitch Brophy in no real hurry. Siren will sound as he walks back. He's going to tell him to get on with it anyway. Let's hope. We have no problems. Goes high in the air. Taken. I'm more than happy just to make the tackle. And referee Galvin blows. Half time. In what's been a cracking game of rugby league in that first 30 minutes. It was Yuri Romo in the 15, then Mitch Marin in the 22nd, and then in the 28th, Tupo for Bass. And we will go in to the break as Neil Diamond booms across Kirkham Oval. We'll be back with all the second half action shortly. Mitch Brophy gets out of the tee. And we're 30 minutes away from finding out Endeavour's opponent. They can repeat what they just produced in that first half. And anyway, Brophy, underway we are. And Bass receiving the football straight away. The contact, the contact was a feature in that first half. Rabar, that dummy half. Oh, there's the ball spewing out on tackle two. Roche are to elite. He says, I'll take it nicely. And there's the mistake straight away from Bass. Second tackle of that second half. Brophy, Marpa Heaver. He's had a good clash with Layafi. Milne. Milne wants a runner, finds Anderson. Anderson looks for Cody. Cody, early ball for Tuoli'i. There's a good tackle. Tuoli'i play it. Marin will go into dummy half. One of the try scorers in that first half. Cody for Anderson. Anderson wanting a runner once again. Marpa Heva, his second run in the set. Sever does well, hangs on him, just slows him down enough. On four. Anderson looking for a runner, finds Romo. Romo, that brilliant try in the first half. Now we're on four. Marpa Heva, his third run in this set. The big front rower. So now, no, we are on the last tackle now. Anderson, Anderson. He'll just dip the ball into the line. Hitchem Carnib. All he could do was just knock it dead. So it'll be a dropout. So a nice start there from Arendale after the mistake from Bass. Play 
Now look for the short. There's the drop here. Gets plenty on it. Oh, this will be a good contest. Down they come. Left high in the air. Kruger Roche went up. Came down at the hands in the air now. Cowling. Cowling looks. Finds Romo. Romo tries to go straight through the middle. Gets through the first tackle but can't get over the top of Barakat. And Kepi over the top. Now Milne. Milne bounces off that left. Now straightens it. Numbers on this left. That's where they're set heavy. You look for Anderson. Fires the pass. Short pass. Carl. Carl. Good tackle. Sever it was, was it? No, it was the three. It was Tupac. Good shot. Now, Marpa Heaver. Good footwork at the line. Dives over. JJ Marpa Heaver. He's been busy early for Arendale. Then just a little bit of footwork at the line of the pass from Brophy. And Mar Pahiva grabs early points for Arendale. I mentioned he had three runs in the set before, did Mar Pahiva. And a solid opening. Five minutes from Arendale. Well, four minutes. And they converted into points. And Brophy, he'll move up. He's only three to the left hand upright. And tries to punch this out to an 18 4 lead early in this second half. We'll get a good view of this one as Brophy moves in. No problems. And Arendale jump out to a 18-4 lead. Hitcham Carney with the restart. Goes deep down the throat. Anderson. You find Carl. And Carl brings it back into the Bass defence. Brophy. Marpa Heaver. Says, give me another crack. This time the defence is under it, underneath. Rabar, Sever and Kepi involved in the tackle. Romo. Kepi again, working hard, the nine for Bass. Brophy, Milne, Anderson, long pass to Ali. To Ali, gets through one, two. Takes a while to get to his feet. Eventually has a little look. A little bit of a chat going on to Afua and to Elite. Could be an enjoyable 25 minutes <laughs> on the last tackle now. It'll go to Anderson. Anderson will put it high in the air. Up they go. Roche. Roche leaps out of the air, but Hitchum can't him. Try saving tackle. Kruger Roche went high in the air. Came down with the ball, but Hitchum can't him. Had the hindsight, just a wait, wait, and he makes the try-saving tackle. As Bass, after that mistake early, they haven't seen a lot of the footy in this opening seven minutes of the second half. This is where you want your leaders working off. You can hear the crowd now. Arendale defence trying to make that mistake. Milne, they are the go-to man for Bass. Kepi. He goes to Brophy. Brophy over the top. Romo underneath. Rabar. Hitchum can ebb. That's a good run from the fullback. 
Makes plenty of post-contact metres. Referee Galvin's going to say, back you go. Reverse it up. Barricat puts it high in the air. Marin comes in, goes backwards. A little bobble with it. Did well. Eventually takes it. Now he'll go back into that vast defence. Tupou involved in the tackle with Johnson. To Ali'i. Roche. Brophy. Finds Green. And a penalty. We're going to go back to where the play the ball was, are we? Yep. The tackle. Oh, no, a little bit further. Tackle without the ball. So an Arendale penalty. Anderson. So Roche, just with the air pass, and he just taps and goes. He gets put on his back. Awful play the ball. That's the bottom line. He gets a little bit of encouragement from the Bass boys. Malachi Alou involved in the tackle, but could be... Could that be the little bit of luck Bass need to get back into this? They haven't seen a lot of the student in this second half. Jonah Anderson having a chat with referee Galvin as Bass bring the scrum right into the middle of the field. 15 away from halfway. Scrum fed, they go left. Lau. Lau got wrapped up quickly. Green comes in, makes the tackle. Rabar out of dummy half, gets over halfway. As the shots continue from both sides in defence. Sever. Sever, once again, some good post contact metres from him. Rabar. Dummies underneath. Goes to Barricat. Barricat pops it up. Layafi. And Layafi, once again, they get him on his back. Just slows it down. Anderson, the man, holding him down. Kepi, he'll go to the open for Barricat. Barricat turns it back underneath. Goddard on the last. And there's been a player down straight away. Oh, Goddard's got up. There's no need for that. And I think Matt Galvin's having a good chat to, the, to Goddard as well. Just trying to see the player. It's not Carl. Checking there if the Erendale player. No, it's not Anderson either. So we'll just wait until we can... Obviously, straight away you can see he's just, well, at least he's up and about. You don't want to look around. Yep, that's his day. It might be Byron Carl, actually. So now on the last tackle, Barricat. Barricat puts the little kick through, flying through, but coming across Cody. As Nelson Lau was flying into the line, but Cody did a good job. So now, Erendale, Billy Hollands, 
drives it forward. Some good post contact meters from Hollands. Anderson, they can see numbers if they can shift it quick enough. Didn't have the opportunity. That's got wrapped up. Looks up to wanting a penalty as Milne. Last tackle. Brophy will go to Anderson. On the right, he gets plenty on it. The tackle, they let it bounce. I thought they were going to attack it. Now it sits up for Hitchin Carnib. He'll look up. All he can see is Arendale jumpers as they wrap him up. Romo was first there. Trying to milk. You could hear the referee yelling out milking. It's about that time of the afternoon. <laughs> Kepi. Kepi again. Which way will he go? He's looking at this little mistake as he got to play the footy. He knows it too. Punches the ground in disgust. Malachi Alu it was. Jersey 17. Yeah, that was Byron Carl. The 11. So now Arendale, the scrum middle of the field. 40 away. From a try that could send them. Into the finals next week. Two elite. Two elite. He's got Marin outside. Decides to just take the tackle himself. He'll play it 10 in from touch. 20 out. Anderson at first receiver. Finds Lascock. Lascock tries to go through, but Kepi says, You're not going anywhere. Kepi tries the one on one strip. Brophy. Milne. Balls hit the deck. Roche has to go back. More than happy just to take the tackle. Brophy looks, goes down that short side. Cowling, Cowling tries to slip through. Bass defence is up to the task, though. Now, Romo, Romo looking for a double. Out of dummy half, beats one. Gets to two metres. Shy on the last. Anderson wants it. The hands are up. He gets it from Brophy. Beats one. Gets away. Looks up again. Still puts the little kick through. Hitchin Carnibs knocked it on. Picked up. And to Elite will grab the crumbs. No, they won't. Well, he's got a he's given a penalty. Given a penalty to Arendale. So it must have been a knock on. Must have been a double knock on. So I wouldn't be surprised if Mitch Brophy looks at the sticks. Oh no. They're gonna try and strike it rich and go with an F boss. Now Bro Holland. Billy Hollands, he gets picked up and driven backwards. This left edge looks dangerous for Erendar. They set up. Brophy, that's where they go. Left, back underneath. Wolf, he gets solidly hit from Goddard. Brophy dummies to the right, goes left, turns it back underneath to Elite. Did Anderson. They wrap up to Elite. Brophy, he'll have a dip himself. Goddard did well from Marker. On four. Cody goes into dummy half. He'll look for Milne. Milne. Anderson. Anderson running out of numbers. Puts a kick across the face. In the touch it goes. Green couldn't get there quick enough. So Bass will bring it out to the 10. 15 minutes left in this battle. And that's exactly what it's been. It was 12 four and a half time to Arendale. Kepi. Contact again, solid. Wolf involved with Hollands. Kepi. Tupo. The Bass try scorer gets to halfway. Kepi to the open, they go. Sever, Sever, can he get his hands free? He can. Rabar, Rabar looks. Oh, Kepi's knocked it on. That was the opportunity. Kepi had room to move. The pass 
a nice pass, couldn't be hung on. And Brophy, he jumps on. The loose ball is Roche. Green. Green just tries to go straight through the middle of this bass middle. Brophy, he got the quick play, the ball now. Milne, oh, it goes to Anderson. Anderson, can he duck under the tackle? Good tackle. Got an eight. Did well. They might go up this short side. Now he goes to the open long pass. Milne goes backwards. Referee says backwards. Cowling, Cowling picks up Billy Hollands. And Hollands drives it forward. He'll play it on the 30. Cowling on that right edge. Numbers, Romo, Romo, room to move. Still going is Romo spinning. Hitcham can't have this time. Has to come, picks him up above the horizontal. Penley, Arendale. Ali Hitcham can't have just trying to lift his side. Unfortunately, he lifted Yuri Romo above the horizontal, as we said. Once again, they'll go the quick tap. Just trying to cash in with this, all this possession. Marpa Heva back on the field looking for a, a second half double. Brophy scheming. Look to go down the short side. Comes back to the open. Billy Hollands, he got the pass off Cody. And as most front, row, most front rowers do, just charge it straight. Now, Marpa Heaver again. This time, Layafi says, you're not going anywhere, and hangs on to him with a bit of help from Slate. Anderson on the left. Flat pass, Lascock. This Basti fence, it's been outstanding. Marpa Heaver driving for the line. Can't get it down. It'll be a handover, Brophy. Gets up gingerly. This Basti fence so strong in their goal line. Lau. Gets met by Roche and Cowling. Kepi, Kepi, Cowling. Makes the tackle. Rabar. Bass. Just putting the head down and going, trying to go straight through the middle. Tupo, back for Kepi again. Kepi, this defence is intense. Rabar, out of dummy half, he has a look. Got Hitcham Carnib, they bring him to the ground, still going. Anderson, after Lascock made the initial contact on the last tackle. They've got to run it to Afua. That's where they go. Tupo. Tupo's got Johnson outside. Johnson comes to Tuoliti. He keeps it alive for Tupo. Still on the last tackle. They wrap the ball up. And a brave effort down this right edge. As the Bass boys linked up. That's a massive defensive set here for the Bass Bulls. Cody. Romo. Brophy looks for Milne. That's where he goes. Milne goes at Kepi. And a good tackle down below and got no. Brophy, Brophy can see some tied markers. Looks at Marpa Heaver. That's where he goes. Can he get his hands free? Referee says held and last. It'll go to Anderson. Anderson for the corner. Being charged down. Played at. Romo, Romo. Oh, good tackle. That was a try saver. Sever, Romo. That mightn't happen yet. Roche, Roche. Roche finds Green. Green for that right-hand corner. Desperate defence from the Bass side. Now Roche out of dummy half. Cops a high one. No, referee says no. That's okay. Right in front of the Arendale crowd. It'll be a knock on. Roche couldn't get to his feet. Remonstrating with the referee, but no control. <laughs> referee Galvin, we all need a timeout.
So the scrumble pack, only 10 out. Defensive 10, all to do. Bass, we roll into the final 10 minutes. Trying to still go through that front door of Bass. To no avail, Billy Hollands. He's done some work for this Arendale side. Slate, strong carry. Rabar trying to make something happen. It goes to Barricat. Barricat, they just turn it underneath. Sever. Sever trying to carry Cowling with him. And he gets right to halfway. Layafi, strong contact. <laughs> Once again, it'll go to Barricat. Barricat will kick across the face. But straight down the throat of Marin. Marin, once again, fingertip control. Does a good job. Can't get past to a four. Anderson gets in the dummy half. 18 points to four. Eight left. In this sec second semi final, the winner to take on Endeavour Sports. Brophy comes down the short side for Anderson. Anderson pops it up. Lascock. Lascock through the hole. It's got Marin outside. He looks inside. Got two and Lee. Who's he needed? Oh, I tell you what, Lascock. He had the opportunity. He had Marin outside. Two and Lee on the inside. He had too many options. The knock on there to Elite, we just called time off again. So Bass, once again, have to bring it out of their danger zone. Sever. Rabba looks up. Finds got an A. A little knock on they're calling for, no. Well, that's got an A now. The one before was slight. Once again, you can hear the contact. Down the short side they come. Tuafua. Tuafua gives it for Tupo. Tupo comes to the fullback. Tupo, can he get past Cody? Cody does a great job. Chops in him hard. They want the quick play of the ball. They'll look to the left. Barricat. Barricat comes back to the right. Rabar still there. Back for Tupo. Tupo. Can't get... Oh, he can now. He looks for Tuafua. Tuafua throws a long pass. It's on the ground. Picked up beautifully. Now they'll look to go to that left corner. And that's where they do. Paul Johnson. That's Nelson Lau will score for Bass. Well, I thought they were going to go to the left. Originally, they came back to the right, and then eventually they sucked the numbers in from Arendelle and Lau. Nelson Lau scores 18-8. Conversion attempt from Rabah. With five to go. <laughs> Moves in this time. Waved away to the left. So Arendale will bring it back onto the field. Lucas McPherson in Jersey 14. 
JJ Marpahiva coming off. Mitch Brophy with a restart. Four minutes and 40 seconds left. Bass, they'll look to go end to end. As I said, this Bass side last week, 40 points in the second half. They'll be looking for that in this final four minutes. Looking for a little bit of magic. And there's the one-on-one -on -one strip. There was two in the tackle, maybe three. Layafi. Remonstrating with the referee about a high tackle, but at the end of the day, it was the strip. There was too many in the tackle. Tuafua gets on with it quickly with the penalty kick. Lau looks up, finds the hard-working Sever. Just works all day, the 11 for Bass. Barricat, Barricat dummies one, two, picks up Godinay, Godinay straightens it up, still rolling four, there's the one-on-one -on -one strip, there's the knock-on. We're going to say it's a double knock-on, so the first one will be from Arendale when the strip happened, and then the one for Bass. Ten points the margin. Bass want to pack this scrum quickly. So the scrum to be fed to Afua. He feeds a Barricat. Barricat throws a long pass out there on the far side. Got an A. Got an A's been driven in the chart. That wasn't got an A. Malachi Alu it was out there on that wing. Now numbers at the moment getting hard to see. But Malachi. No, no, Lou, they tried to shift the football. They went sideways. The Arendale defence was good enough to drive them into touch. Time on's been the call. Now they get up quickly. Slicing through green. Bounces out of one, two. Still going. And eventually... Nali Hitcham can't ebb. Looked like he wanted an Arendale jumper then. As he drove Green to the ground. Good footwork there. Through the line by Milne. Green again. Wants another go. Layafi. And there's the knock on. A little knock on. He's worked really hard. Simeon Layafi for his bass side. And he's ready to pack the scrum. So they're going to heavily fill this right edge. <laughs> Rabar. Kepi. Flat pass for Godinay. Rabar. To Afua, just dancing across field. Now Barricat. Barricat runs out of numbers. They go to that left again. Layafi, Layafi, wrap him up. Billy Holland's involved in the tackle with Troy Cody. Nice stick. Young Cowling as well. Sever, Sever. As I said, he's worked so hard for his bass time. There's a little knock on Billy Hollins and Brophy with the tackle. And as he hit the ground, Sever, you could just see the ball bobbling out. And that will be the air out of the bass balloon. As the rain continues to fall here at Kirkham Oval, 
Once again, a big thank you to the Camden Rams. They've done a great job hosting today's semi-finals, the Peter Mulholland Cup. Next week, those semi-finals will be Patrician Brothers Blacktown up against Central Coast Sports College and Endeavour Sports High up against Erindale College next Wednesday. Tuali'i takes a while to get to his feet. They come in for Milne. The Erindale crowd pretty happy. As the siren will sound. And in what's been an absolute intense game of schoolboy rugby league, the first 30 minutes was brilliant. And a little bit of push and shove. But to finish the game, but we just move on with that. The bottom line is Arendale College have run out winners. 18 points to eight. I hope you've enjoyed all the action here on Community TV throughout the afternoon. And as I said, we'll be back next week. The semi-finals, two rounds left.